Hi trombone players, this is Mrs. Geist and this is video number three. I'm gonna do a little bit of review and then some new um, concepts. All right, so we have here the mouthpiece. Remember to take a deep, deep breath before you play. The more the sirens you can do, the better your high notes will come out. So make that siren long and high. Start low. Now, remember, some of us are having a little bit of hard time putting together our trombone. Okay, we wanna be gentle with the slide, which everyone is. I'm so proud of all the trombone players. You guys are being so gentle with your trombones. I love it. I haven't seen any accidents and everybody's being gentle with them. So remember, the bell goes on the right side, okay? And if you're standing up or looking at it, the bell's on the, I'm sorry, the bell's on the left, you guys. I'm super sorry. The bell is on the left, okay? Then the other slide, the slide parts goes on the right, okay? Then uh, I know some of you are being a little shy about tightening down your um, fastener. Don't be afraid, just tighten it down. If it's too tight, I'll help you out but some of you have the floppy floppies, so make sure it's tightened down. This is where a couple of us are forgetting. We take our thumb and we put it up here, okay, at that big brace, thumb in there. Now, if you have tiny fingers, you need to use the tip of your tongue, or thumb, not that. So you wanna put your thumb right there, first finger up there. Remember we said to play, make an L like, or like that, right, Shh. all right, bam. These three fingers, these three fingers go around that. They wrap around there. So now you've got a grip, okay? That is where you grip it, not your right hand. Your left hand grips it. So let me do that again. Loosen it up, make your L, put your thumb there, put your index there, and then wrap all three fingers around there. That was in all the other videos too, so you really need to practice that. A lot of people are forgetting how to hold that, but you can get it. Trombone is really the hardest instrument to figure out how to hold. Once you know it, muscle memory, right? We like that word. Now you're gonna take your right hand, you're gonna put your thumb there, you're gonna put two fingers. Most of you have fixed that, it looks really good. Two fingers is all you need right there, okay? Then this little bend, like I said in my last videos, go right there. Now watch your angle. A lot of you are putting the bell like that. We want to put the bell kind of to the side, not this way, not that way, you hit your head. It's kind of in the middle, okay? So your balance point is your left hand, and yes, that's gonna hurt after a while. Some of you are already feeling it if you practice. So now I'm gonna put my mouthpiece in there, remember? Drop it in, twist it. We don't do that. Miss Geist doesn't have time to pull your mouthpiece. It takes about 10 minutes, all right? Cool. Now. I'm gonna go ahead and hold that note out. I would like you to hit your top note, the highest note possible with a good sound. Not blowing loud, you don't need to do that. Listen. That's your F, so it's kind of high. Now if I say loosen up, you're gonna play a low B flat. That's a low, low note. Now I can tell my practicers, because they've been holding that F out for a long time and they have nice muscle memory and they're training their muscles. Listen to my F again. Take a deep breath. those two notes forever. Now, those of you who practice are probably gonna be able to get even a higher note. <laughs> All I'm doing is I'm pushing my lips together a little bit more so it's less vibrating, okay? So just a little bit more. I'm focusing my air up higher. I'm pushing my bottom lip out just a little bit. <laughs> Now, 
I've been talking this week about tonguing. I just need you to start using your tongue on every note. Listen, I'm going to start with my tongue. <laughs> tried it this week and are very good about it so I want you um, to keep trying keep your air moving and just without me saying too much information I just want you to give that a shot by yourself just by saying T T T T listen to my air oh I played too high I took a deep breath I'm able to go pretty high now I'm going to take a low I'm gonna play my low note and practicing my tonguing now I'm gonna let go of my slide I'm gonna uh, let go of my loosen my slide lock okay now do you remember me teaching you about your pinky if I let that pinky go the slide is gonna go flying my pinky is there just to hold it in case, right? I'm ready to play, but my pinky is there. Once I start grabbing it with this hand, my pinky tucks under again. Now we talked about sixth position. Most of you reached it pretty well. You gotta make sure that arm goes out. So for tiny arms, you have to pivot your shoulder. And I want low for now, so you have to really relax your buzz. Ah. I started with my tongue again. That sixth position C. Now I'm going to go up to fourth position. Most of us learned that already also. It's in your blue book. If you read the first three pages of your blue book, it's there. Fourth position is just for now a little bit below the bell. And loose, tongue, or loose buzz again. And I'm used to going for a long time because I practice my long tones. Now I'm going to go third position. If you remember, third position is right above the bell. review. First position, if you're buzzing loose and low, it's a B flat. Sixth position is out, if, as far as you can reach for now, is sixth position. That's a C. D is fourth position, a little bit below the bell. Third position is E flat, a little bit above the bell. And then back at first position, high is an F. A B flat. Again, look at, I put my pinky there. Look at that. My pinky's catching the slide so it doesn't rush off. It doesn't like go off, okay? Slide off. So there we go. Um, that's just a review. Here's your spit valve again. We talked about that in class. Did I buzz? Yeah, we don't want to buzz. We just want to blow. All right, and I know some of our arms are really tiny. Do the best you can or shake it for now, okay? All right, you guys, trombones, I'm very proud of you. It's one of my favorite instruments. We will talk about care of your instrument later on. But right now, hopefully you're watching these videos, obviously, because you made it this far. And holding your trombone, I'm going to be very picky about that. Thanks, you guys. Have fun practicing.